third number is 5 less than the second number. So let's get three numbers. Let's say we have A, B, and C. Here's the first, the second, and the third. All right. The second of three numbers is 4 times the first. So A and B are not equal. But the second is 3 times of the numbers is 4 times the first. So which one has to be bigger? The first one or the second one? It's three times the first number. Or I just, this is four, like no. this, right? Yep. All right. This, so no, four there's no more than or greater than. So I know four of number one is equal to number two. Yep. Okay. okay. There's my first equation. I have three variables. How many equations do I need to come up with there, Mr. Cole? We're going to need three, aren't we? And we are going to need three. The next in bit of information, this piece is done. We've used all that information. The third number is five less than the second number. So C. And here's, they are not equal, but if three is five less than the second, so where do I have to subtract that five? So from the B. From the B. Yeah, the okay. second one take away five right. gives you the third one. So now the third one is less. Be, now they're going to be equal. And so we're done with this piece. <laughs> here's the long bit. And now, if the second Oh, sorry. If I think just twice try the first and do this number, as we read it, I think. So twice right. the first number is 2a. 2a. And then decreased by the third number, so minus c. C. The result is the same as, so we can write equals 20. So b add 23. So 23 more than b. 23. Okay, so here's a 23. Now. If, okay. If I look at this equation here, we have three variables here. Let's think about this carefully here. If I know b is here, b is here, b is here. b is the only variable that they all have in common. So let's use that to help us out. Let's plug in, let's solve for c and a and plug it in so that we can have one equation with b. So I'm going to rewrite this one as a is equal to one quarter b. This one's good. So now we can do some substituting. If we do the substituting, I know 2, I plug this in, 1 quarter b, minus, here is c, b minus 5, is equal to b plus 23. Okay, so we've got one equation with one variable. Right, and so now Let's leave them to solve it. And of our three numbers, which one do we want them to put into Google Docs? Let's find C. Let's find the third number. Okay. Uh, put in C equals what into the Google Doc? That's what we want you to There's a few at. steps missing there, though. You're going to have to find B from, from solving that equation and then go back and find out what C is. Right. You'll be using a hint. You'll be using this one. All right. Continuing on. Here we have. These are these are quite quite tricky. Sometimes you have word questions with sum and products and things like that, and sometimes they they ask you about consecutive integers or consecutive even integers. Oh, sorry, I was bouncing, I was driving crazy. Sorry, it's indeed. So it's consecutive integers. So the example in the middle, we're not actually describing that. That's just an example of what we could get. We don't actually care whether it's 4, 5, 6, or 10, 11, 12. We just want an expression that means three numbers that are one bigger than each other. Right. And there's a bunch of different ways to do it. If we say the first number is x, then the next one that's consecutive would be x plus 1. Yep. And the next one would be x plus 2, and so on. So this would be three consecutive numbers. But I could write it another way. What's the number before x? Okay. Well, that's going to be x minus 1. And then it would be x, and then it would be x plus 1, and so on. So these go on forever in both directions. We can either add or subtract. We can actually pick whichever ones we want, right? As long as we get consecutive integers. That's all the word part of the question is asking us right. for. So if I consider, if I consider, let's say, if I consider x minus 1, x, and x plus 1, if I would say, let's say, x equals 5, no, that's, that's the one we have. That's the one we've got, right? That's, that's what we okay. have. Let's say if I say x equals 51. Okay. So if this is 51, if I plug 51 into here, 51 minus 
one is 50. That's 51. 51 in here plus one is 52. So okay. the X doesn't change, just the consecutive does. All right, so let's go down to the next scenario. We have consecutive odd integers. Okay. Well, this is a tricky one because I know odd integers go up by two each time. And so we can go on that idea of we've learned first differences always has a, a difference of two. Yeah. And so we could say that it's two X plus one will be odd. This will be even because it's two X. Yeah. And then I add one that will ensure that it's odd. They're tricky, these, aren't they? I mean, there's loads of things we could do, but we're just trying to get an odd number. We don't right. really care which number we're getting. All right. The next odd number would be plus 3. Because it's too bigger. Too bigger. The next one would be plus 5. If I go in this direction, I go 2x minus 1, and I get to go 2x minus 3. And so they okay. go forever both ways. Yeah, so in, in our example there, what's, what's, well, I guess we've got four terms, haven't we? Right. So, so if we were doing the first three, mm -hmm. it would be, x would be what? Uh, if x would be three. Yeah. So if that, x equals three. That gives us that whole example, right? right? Five, seven, nine. There we go. And then it would be 2x plus five would be the 11. Yep. All right. Let's keep on going. Consecutive even integers, well, it's almost the same, except this time it's 2x. That's insured even. The yeah. next one. I add 2 to it. Yeah, so we didn't have to add take away the 1 to make it odd, right? 2x is going to be even, and then 2 bigger or 2 smaller is also going to be even. Right. And then it works, because even was 2x. If it's multiples of 5, that's going to be yeah. 5x. And mm. the next one would be 5x, add 5. Yeah. 5x, add 10. Let's try an example with this, this idea, shall we? Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we have... Three consecutive odd integers, such that the, twice the sum of the first two integers decreased by the third integer is the same as 20 less the second integer. Okay, let's get three. Wow. Wow, that is correct. So let's say consecutive odd integers. So 2x minus 1 is an odd integer. The next integer that's odd is plus 1. The next one would be plus 3. The next one, I, this would be 4, I wouldn't need it, would be plus 5. So I just need to take these three or these three. Okay, so x is, isn't, actually isn't going to tell us what any of our numbers is, is it? No, it's just going to tell us, we're going to have to plug it back in here. And experience tells me that using these ones is usually easier because I have smaller numbers. So let's take out this one. Let's say these are our integers. Okay, so we can make some e equations now. So it's just twice the sum of the first two integers. So twice, so... 2x minus 1 plus 2x plus 1. That's the sum of the first two integers. Twice that sum, so twice it, yeah. decreased by the third integer. Minus 2x add 3. In parentheses, because it's the whole integer being subtract, is the same, equal... 20 to, less than the second integer. So here's the second integer. I'm going to have... 20 less than that. Yeah. Let's take them on a little bit further, I think. <laughs> All right. We're feeling kind. Feeling kind. Okay, so this will be 2. And if I take my parentheses off, this is positive. I get 4x. That's minus it. 1 plus 1 is just 4x. Yep. Minus 2x. Subtract 3. Be careful of that. You must distribute your negative. This becomes a negative, so be very careful of that one. Equals 2x minus 19. And so I get 8x minus 2x minus 3 equals 2x minus 19. I think we can stop them there. Yeah, they should be able to finish that off. Okay. And so we want to Have finish you done this off. Do they get a nice whole number? I think so. So what do we want to know? Do we want to know what x is, or do we want to know one of the integers? Well, we want to find one of the integers. Let's say, let's look for the second integer. Okay. 
So okay. first find x, but what we want you to put in the doc's form is not x, but the second integer. This one here. So you have to find x first and then plug it in there. That will be your second integer. Yeah. On your, on your bit of paper, write out all three integers, but just put the second one in the form. Great.